Hi, Gen Chem students. Uh, here is another problem walkthrough using data, temperature and reaction rate data, to get an activation energy. So remember that the um, Arrhenius equation states that the rate equals A times E to the power of negative EA over RT. So if we take the natural log of both sides, rearrange things around, we get a relationship that we can use with temperature and rate data in order to get that activation energy. So for this reaction, 2ClO becomes Cl2 and O2. We can perform several experiments where we measure the reaction rate uh, dependent upon temperature. That's what we have here. So we varied the temperature from 238 to 298 Kelvin and then we measured the reaction rate. Then it increased from 1.9 times 10 to the 9th to 7.2 times 10 to the 9th. Now, in order to use this data, we plotted it originally. This is temperature versus reaction rate. You can see it's curved. The fact that it's curved means that it's harder for us to pull any useful info out of it. What we need to do instead is plot 1 over t versus the natural log of k. So all I did here was take the temperature values, put them one over that temperature value, that's this column here, and I transformed the k to its natural log value. And now I've plotted one over t versus that natural log. Now I have a nice straight line, and because of the way the math works out, the slope of this line is equal to uh, negative Ea over r, a nice value that I can calculate. All I need to do is take the slope of this line. Uh, so I'm going to pick two of those points. I'm going to go ahead and pick both the first point and I'm going to pick the last point. So I'm going to designate this as my P1 and this as my P2. And now to get the slope, we're going to start crunching some numbers here. The slope is going to be the change in the ln k term over the change in the 1 over t term. So that's going to be 22.697 minus 21.365 over 0 0.003356 minus 0 0.004202. And if I crunch those numbers down, I get minus 1574 as the slope. So I know from this that the slope equals uh, negative activation energy over R. Now if I multiply both sides by negative R, I get negative R times slope equals activation energy. All I have to do is plug in the numbers that I know. 8.314 negative times negative 1574 equals EA. We crunch that down, we get One point three one times ten to the fourth joules per mole equals the activation energy, or minus thirteen or sorry, pot plus thirteen point one kilojoules per mole is our activation energy. So that's it. If you have temperature versus rate data, just plot one over t as your horizontal axis natural log of the k as your vertical, take the slope of the line, and solve for your activation energy.